Hey, you two, what you know good? He is the Reverend. This is Project KNM. We're back with some more of that fresh art goodness. So, what are we working on today? Well, this is drawing 10 out of 31 for OC Tober 2020. I did 31 drawings for 31 days. OC, all composed of OCs. Most of them are mine. Some done by friends of mine some of associates of mine and some from just the artists that i happen to follow this uh number 10 is an oc done by me and much like uh one i did earlier the die mount massacre this is another one that was originally um a created character from a pro wrestling game that i was playing this is uh, this character uh originated as just a, an idea from uh, back when I was playing on my GameCube, uh, WWE's Day of Reckoning. I, it started out as a boxer in. It, it actually it it was actually several different ideas. This was a, this is a weird amalgamation. It went from several different things. Originally. It was um, based off uh, the original concept, which eventually changed altogether, but the original uh, idea was me trying to replicate um, a boxer, a masked boxer from a, an, a, 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 a modded, or was it a ROM hack? It, it was like a, it was an edited version of the old NES game Mike Tyson's Punch Out. It was, I think it was called like the all new Punch Out or something like that. I cannot for the life of me remember what it was because I never played that 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 modded version. But it was like a, it was like a, just a combination of like different things. Like they had new characters and um, some repackaged characters. Like I think, for example, Soda Popinski was repackaged as his old version, his original version from the arcade, Vodka Drunkinski. That was like one example of the stuff, and it was, and they just had a bunch of different weird characters that couldn't be taken seriously. But the final boss was like this masked version of Mr. Dream slash Mike Tyson slash whatever, and I think his name was Strauss. So I was coming up with like this. I was trying. I was trying to like make my own version of that because I thought it was a really cool idea at the time, and I don't know why. <laughs> but when I started like taking the creative characters a little more seriously, like starting to, like come up with like ideas and like like backstories for all the characters that I was coming up with, because I do that. Uh, I, I when I start creating things, I really get into it. I decided to um, completely repackage it and make like make my own character in and of itself so I took the original Strauss idea and I couldn't actually replicate the mask anyway it was a different man and I decided to just do my own thing I said all right let's go ahead and just like do my own thing and I I renamed him Sigma Strauss um, and I started making the backstory. Uh, and here, and you know, I'll, I'll give you the, I'll give you the uh, the Reader's Digest version of the the this guy. Instead of a boxer, he is a Nakmoi, aka a practitioner of the martial art Muay Thai. He, uh, he starts out uh, Rafi. Strauss. He is a uh, he is of German and Thai descent. So he's got a little bit of Thai. He's like half Thai and half German. So I, so I, he has. I don't know if they would call him since he's got some Thai blood. I'm not quite sure if they would just call him a Nakmai or if they would call him a Nakmai Farang, which means like a foreign Nakmai. Um, I'm not even quite sure if I know if he was raised in Thailand or not. I'll have to go back and look at my notes from way back when. 
but he um, he when he was he was a um, he starts out as Rafi Strauss and becomes quite the name in the in in the world of Muay Thai. He gains the uh, it, because of his long limbs he and his slender frame from back when he was slender. He was uh, he got the nickname Spider. However, um, when it comes to the characters in my fight organization, in my fight league, that my CAW fight league that my friend and I would make, many of these characters have a reason to no longer fight in their original locations and, and promotions and start fighting in our fight league. What happened with Rafi is that he ended up having a an unsanctioned fight like on the streets at one point with a a wushu practitioner who effed his face up um, because not only did she do wushu she also would fight with weapons and she carved up his face like like just like nobody's business which is the reason why he started covering up his face in our fight league, our fight organization, uh, which we had, which we call UTM Total Fighting, he would end up, um, he would end up being beaten by a particular uh, by a particular fighter who would eventually recruit him for um, their particular faction. They 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 were impressed by Rafi's ability despite losing, and um, decided to after you know after he got not after Rafi was knocked out they they brought him they took them to the back and he was eventually recruited. Um, I won't go into detail as to what exactly they did to Rafi, but they did something to ex just e dramatically increase his muscle mass. As well as his uh, his desire for his his lust for fighting, he, he, they he's a very prideful individual, but he has a um, he, he becomes more how do I say how do I say this he he starts to take fighting even more seriously than he did in the past. It's. It's almost, it's almost like a, a holy duty for him to, to to fight with the best of his ability. And he venge and one of the things he, the very first things he did once he was recruited, and he was rechristened, instead of Rafi Strauss, they started to call him Sigma Strauss. And um, one of the very first things he did, in his in exchange for him being recruited was he was finally given the opportunity to get his revenge on the one who scarred his face up. This is where he gets his mask instead of just covering his face with like a cloth. He now uh, wears this this weird mask. And he eventually avenges his loss against the one who messed him up. But the thing is, he brutally beats her and she ends up uh, succumbing to her injuries before she's able to get to the hospital. In UTM, there's no quote-unquote tag matches like in some pro wrestling, but there is two-on-two -two fights or dual comp competitions that we call them. And one of the people who was recruited around the same time Sigma was was the sister of the one who messed up his face. Um, for and it, for the longest time in our um, during these uh, these because you know, the, the way we write these stories is sometimes we we have these characters the caws fight uh just like cpu versus cpu and uh the story would you know be determined by what the hell happens you know after the match that determines who wins um sometimes we would just write out the stories ourselves me and my friend we would just do this online back when we we had so much free time and we would just like stay up all night just writing stuff back and forth and role playing some of this um he uh sigma and the sister of his the the woman he killed are now like the the dual team champions right now i is one she was already recruited uh two 
this could be considered his way of uh, atoning for killing said sister. He, you know, now teams up with, um, he now teams up with her. Not that she knows, because part of the recruitment is her having her memories er erased and other aspects kind of enhanced. Was, was, um, while well, Strauss here has uh, his pride in the sense of honor, definitely just, um, uh, you know, enhanced his new partner. Uh, she has her lust for battle, like, enhanced. I think that's what got me kind of, like, messed up when I, when I was trying to say that. I think that's what got me all caught and confused. I had, I had it mixed up a little bit. Um, each fighter who was recruited in that organization in that particular faction had something enhanced about them to make them more uh, efficient in fighting. When it comes to her, it was her lust for battle. For for Rafi, it's the, his sense of pride and his uh, his intolerance for certain aspects when it comes to battle. Hence, his need to essentially avenge that loss. But, um, yep, yeah, man. I really should draw some more characters from that organization. From my, from our, from our fight league. I keep calling it an organization, I keep calling it a fight league. It was a CAW league, but it was not really pro, a, a pro wrestling kind of thing. It was more of a fighting thing. Um, but we had so many stories and whatnot that I can, I could... I can go on for who knows how long about the, the the backstory for so many of these characters, and who you know what I just might do that one of these days. If that if that if that interests you, I could start you know drawing some more of these and telling you some of the backstories. If that interests you guys, let me know in the comments if that interests you. Um, but with that said, uh, I think now's a good time to go ahead and wrap this up. As always, uh, thanks uh, for watching. Take it easy, memento mori, and I will catch you all in the next one. Kill the feed.